like I said, this is just a simple graphic for a package design that has all these different layers on it. I can temporarily hide this just to show this uh, section to you. But it's trying to create this as a reflection, so every uh, selection comes down. So these are the uh, these are the pieces. So when you drag this around, this becomes the image. But it's all separated on different layers. So I'm just going to duplicate them while they're still selected. And go to New Group from Layers, and just uh, just put this on the. Uh, selection here so it has a piece in case I goof up on all these uh, illustrations to it. So that's that part. So it has the shaded part, all these different key components that are here uh, for this for this section. Okay. So it's just these two these two layers. So once you establish that, if you kept them separate, that's fine, but it'll just give you this uh, selection overhead, and um, I'm just going to create a layer above this to show you this section, and then try to reflect it on the piece. So the pen tool is very similar to this part. Make sure it's set it as a path, and when you click on this, the only difference between Illustrator and uh, Photoshop on that part is just the option key to click to curve this. So when you want to set that, you have to hold the option key in order to click it. So it doesn't have a lot of function, but it's pretty close. And this, this stays over in what this is, the path palette on the left-hand side. So I'm just um, creating these shapes just to show it to you. So here's a straight, just click connecting these together makes that particular shape so you end up with a number of them and it's still in this working path that you have to save. I'm just going to go behind this a little bit and like I said just kind of treating this as a sketched in drawing like that and if you need to modify any of the points you can just take that tool right there and it'll modify it just to demonstrate that. And I'm just gonna so essentially you're making all the different uh, selections and again just bringing that together. Okay and just double click on this and just call this tabs and click OK. So just working on a layer above this uh, selection, since I did move this, I'm going to take all of the uh, selection of all these paths, when you move it, let's see if I can grab all of these guys here, and just move this up, and I can even rescale it a little bit to fit into here, because I did move the box after creating this, so trying to build this part up. This allows me to distort it, clicking the command key. Build it up like that. Okay. And here's the command key just to move these corners to option this up. So I can see everything in there and just hit return. So what I have is a a new layer above it. I have the tabs key over here again. So when I select this, everything's highlighted. <clears throat> and there's direct selection and a path selection. So when I click on one of these, one of these items is highlighted. And what you can do is just start to build the color right from there. So there's the color that I'm choosing. I'm just going to go ahead and I'll try to do it from front to back if I can and see if I can pull that off. So this one Here's the direct selection tool. Click off and then click back on this one using the eyedrop tool to grab that color and just filling it with that color. Okay? So it's just a matter of trying to keep your um, section about you. So here's the direct selection tool. 
come down to this bottom one. Scroll up a bit. Here's the options for that. And again, you, I'm, I'm actually putting it on one layer. You could benefit from putting it on two. I just wanted to show you how it could be done on the one layer. So that's kind of the three panels that you see. Okay. In fact, I'll just put a new layer above this just to make it a little bit easier to edit since that's what it's allowing you to do. So that's this part right here with the eyedrop tool. Clicking down here in the bottom, there's a fill. Fills it with that color. Come back to get this tool. Click on this one. Eyedrop tool to grab this color and just fill it with that. So now you end up with a number of uh, pieces right up into there. And that'll give you the, uh, the selection there. So now I have all of this highlighted. It's on two layers, the top pieces and the bottom. I'm just going to click off of this panel. And now when you look at this, you can shade this. So, for example, this background one. Here's the layer selected. Lock the pixels. And you can do it a couple ways. You can paint right on it or just use the dodge and the burn tool. So here's the burn tool, just to show it to you. It lets you shadow that part. And if you click and hold the shift key, it will drag that piece across. And you can make the brush a little bit smaller. So it's just kind of showing you that. And again, whether you want to paint it, I can grab a click with the paintbrush tool. The brackets make it a little bit bigger me to establish that, that selection. The other idea is the magic wand tool, which third tool down. When you select that, it'll select these items. And then I can click the brush tool and it's just painting the pieces that are inside of this. So it's giving me that, that option. And all the parameters up here, so the opacity and everything you can change up here. Grab a different color, double click open up the color picker. It allows you to paint, paint with the colors there pretty good. And the magic wand just shift keying to collect more of it lets you grab that selection. Okay. And you can <coughs> use this polygon tool, option or plus to enhance some of it. So here I've cut that part off and now when I paint this bigger brush with the brackets tool. I can bring that into a shadow. So it's just a quick way to kind of get that look to it. Inside this selection is pretty dark. You can uh, double click on this to get a lighter color. Use the brush to lighten up just a little bit of that. So you can kind of see how that's brought together. And then I did put these two pieces on the front of this layer lock their pixels as well and do the same thing with the brush just kind of highlighting some of it painting that dark a little bit <laughs> let's see if I got the selection here these two transform this just make it a little bit smaller return so now I have this uh, layer with a brush tool let's me shade that and let's me shade a little bit that way so you can kind of get a pretty good definition of this part fills up that section. And again, this selection here, you can highlight that and actually just move this up and over. You'll get that edge of that cardboard. So there's 
that piece. And if you hold this again with the option, with the command key with the option, it'll allow it to subtract. So you can actually do a couple, a couple things here. Oops. So here's the. So here it's subtracted it, and I can hide those edges. Take the brush, and use the the white edge right there to try to get that thickness of the cardboard. And it gives you that that look to it. Okay, so that's just using the paths to kind of make that selection. So if I didn't want to have that on there, I'd still come back to this box. And uh, that's just these two layers. So I'm going to shift key these two and duplicate them. And shift key these two. And new group from layers. And this is going to be Sharpie box open. Click OK. And just for a simple version, let's see if this will do it. This is the open open box. And with these two guys right here, I'm just going to do a reflection. So I'll shift key them together, move them on the page. So I'm going to duplicate them again and go to a new group from layers and just call it reflection. Just so I have a copy of each, even though it's in the same document. So I'll hide these two, which were the original. So now these two, I'm just going to uh, merge together and see if I can't flip this. All I need is two sides of this, so it's pretty easy. So I just click here with the lasso tool, come down here, and it's on one layer. Here's the uh, layer, so I'm just going to go to layer up at the top and go new and copy. And just to show it to you, I'll drag this down and just go um, highlight it, edit, transform, flip vertical. So it changes this direction. So I just drop this down and hold the option and click this up to make that reflection. And hit return. So now I have this reflection. If I go ahead and minimize this a little bit, you'll see that kind of reflected in there. So that's this piece up at the top. Do the same on the other one. I'll hide this so I can see what I'm doing. Go to this lasso tool right here, and just go to layer, new, and copy. And now I have this one, and I just go to selection tool, flip vertical, just drop this down a little bit, right to the corner, grab this corner with the option, command key, command key, command key. drop that up like so. Okay, so now I have these two reflective pieces. This one, I want to bring it back, select these two layers, merge them together, just slightly turn them off, and then put a layer mask with a gradient going from foreground to transparent. And now you can minimize some of the value, not that much. So it gives you that, that selection. And now it's just a reflected box on that surface. Okay? So you've gone from the box itself, the box with the opening, and now the box with the reflection.